I'm not going to say I'm from Norway, but I'm going to say I've been shooting with Nikon cameras since 2008, and I'm very privileged to be an Nikon ambassador in Norway. My name is Roy Mangasnes. I'm a wildlife photographer. And I picked up photography while studying biology at university as a means of sharing my passion for nature and the wild. It's a lot about documenting the wild and, and behavior of wildlife, animals in the environment, but also it's about light and it's about capturing those moments of amazing light. I keep being pulled back to the colder places, all these amazing places with the stunning wildlife and the cold and the snow and the ice that I just really love to work. Working with wildlife is not easy. I mean, it takes a lot of time. You have to spend time searching for wildlife. Often involves a lot of hiking, uh, sometimes camping out. Cold and hungry photographer is not a good photographer, so I always make sure I have enough food, uh, gels to keep me sharp. There's a lot of things to consider, especially if you're shooting in, in harsh conditions. Well, Wild Photo Travel is a travel company made by photographers for photographers. So it's me and a colleague uh, taking other photographers to the most amazing places around the world. The great thing about traveling with, with other photographers is that we can share knowledge and, and work together almost like a team. It's amazing because you're traveling with people with the same interest. You can share your fascination for whatever you photograph. Uh, you can share knowledge. For me also, as an experienced photographer, traveling with other photographers, I learn a lot. I get inspired by clients. Taking people out, seeing how they see my world, inspires me. Doverfjell National Park is a very alpine national park, but the access points are very often down in the valleys. So getting into the park and getting close to the animals very often involves a lot of hiking. And we're working around a thousand meters above sea level and higher. The weather changes in minutes. Temperatures can drop to minus 20 easily. Part of what I find fascinating about the muskox, we're looking at an ice age giant. And in the same environment, they lived 40,000 years ago. As a wildlife photographer, I think, Long lenses is, is essential, especially because a lot of the wildlife I'm working with don't want to be close to me, but I would like to be close to them. Having respect for your subject is extremely important and the muskox can be a little bit grumpy. You need to keep an eye on them and uh, give them space. I mean, they are 400 kilograms and they do 50 kilometers an hour, so you're not gonna outrun it if it comes for you. As a wildlife photographer, I think we are ambassadors for nature. We are ambassadors for the subjects that we photograph. I would say that photography for me is a mix between documentary photography to share the truth about wildlife, but it's also an art form. Making images that reaches out to people and that people can actually remember and, and take with them. And, and that's, that's my passion.